A pleasant good morning. Welcome to Transwest Truck Trailer RV here in beautiful Frederick, Colorado. I always say beautiful Frederick, Colorado. Today is a nice, uh, how would say that, cool day. A little gray skies, but we're expecting a little bit of snow this afternoon. So we welcome all the snow we get. Um, for all those out there, like I said, keep on being safe, stay warm. Um, it's a hard time right now with all the, the weather changes we have going on. So. Just stay safe out there and have some faith. Summer is coming around the corner, so um, yeah. So I just wanted to say a little, about, a little bit about myself today um, before I jump into this uh, truck right behind me. Um, a lot of people wonder where the accent is from. I was originally born um, and raised on the island of St. Lucia. That's East Caribbean. Um, and people wonder why I came into the snow. Um, it was a lady. <laughs> Uh, we actually moved to California, well that's where she's from, and then we, after California we moved here about five years ago, purchased our first home, and um, I'm glad to be a homeowner right now. So um, I've been in sales for the past four years and change. Um, I'm new to the truck business. Uh, I used to work for a company that used to sell all different types of vehicles. Now I'm here just focused on trucks, um, which is pretty good. I've been with this company for about a year now which is amazing. It's a great place to work, great staff, um, great management as well. Um, I'm just mid thirties. Um, yeah, I'm a musician by profession as well. So I do play a little bit of music. I'm a drummer slash singer. Used to work for a cruise line uh, for five years in the past. So I have a lot of entertainment skills. So be aware, um, I will surely entertain you while you guys are looking at vehicles. Um, I have a long history, um, even though I'm in my mid thirties, there's a lot I've been through in life, um, a lot I'm happy for. So um, that's just a little bit about me today. So next time I come around, I'll go in depth with some little things. If you guys have questions, you know, wanting to know your salesperson, don't be afraid to ask those questions. And of course, I'll provide my number and email at the end of this video. So you guys could always reach out if you guys are interested in any of our inventory or even wanting to know your salesperson a little better. I've had like, great relationships right now with a few of my, uh, of my past customers. We still, you know, stay in contact. So uh, we could do the same with you. So uh, feel free. So today, guys, brand new on our lot. We got the 2019 uh, Chevrolet Silverado 1500 High Country. And this one carries a 6.2 liter engine. Check it out, guys. Brand new on our lot. 2019 Chevy Silverado 1500 High Country. He's going to give you guys a minute to just, just look at this beauty. All right. Looking for features? This particular truck has almost every single feature that you're looking for in a, in a Silverado. Of course, just taking a look at the front end of it, uh, you could see the two, three tone, I would say, or four tone. You got the white on black with the silver, and you have that little gold stripes on the side here. Of course, the high country sign stamped in the front here as well. I have a, self, a Chevy right now, a Silverado R, RST model, and I mean, Chevy just makes their vehicles so unique and beautiful. The new models right now, just the way they look right now, all great headlights. And I'm gonna turn it on in a little bit so you guys can see exactly how it looks with lights on. But this, and like I said, this truck carries that 6.2 liter engine. Let's take a look under the hood see exactly what's under there nice and clean clean engine like I said we have the uh, 6.2 liter Ecotec 3 V8 engine and it's partnered with a 10 speed automatic transmission so this vehicle or this truck has about 420 horsepower and about 460 foot-pounds of torque so give and take this truck has tons tons of power and I'm gonna show you guys a little so this truck does come with a remote start and the sound behind that engine when it starts it's just it's just amazing and for guys who like to hear loud sounds like you know that truck with if energy and that 
that sound like it's just amazing so we're gonna try to remote start this uh, truck right now and kind of uh so you hear the sound of that like i'm gonna turn it off again and i'm gonna go a little bit closer to the <laughs> to the mufflers when it start up again so let's try this again hopefully i could pick it up on the mic yeah it's just, it just sounds amazing so let me turn those lights on so you guys could see exactly what it looks like and just check out the uh, the look of this truck right now at night just driving with this truck at night you could see so clear right now you'll see a little flickering in the in, on the camera this is just because of the LED lighting um, going to the camera but in real life, it's not flashing, so it's not a police car. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just the look of this is just amazing, guys. And of course, for all those Chevy fans, um, every time I pass in my neighborhood and stuff, people always look at my look at my truck. So these lights are just amazing. So coming around here, we have the, uh, the Chevy rims. These are 22s. So the tires on here are 285, 45 R22s. And those are all season tires, Bridgestone. And as you guys can see, the polished aluminum rims with a two-tone. You can see that kind of uh, silver gray and chrome in between. This gives it uh, an amazing look. And another thing I wanted to mention to you guys too, on the mirrors, we have some lightings on here as well. And that just produces more light. Like let's say you you go in a in a dark area and stuff like that. These lights are actually pretty bright at night and gives you that wide wide view when it comes to to having light all all throughout your the area you're in. Um, it also has a little LED light underneath the uh, mirror, and that just produces light when you open the doors. Um, it produces light on the on the on the ground. It is hands-free entry, um, keyless entry. Um, so once the keys are on you, um, you could lock all four doors. All four doors have a little um, button on here. So you could lock the whole vehicle by just pressing that button. So right now, all the doors are locked. And just to open it up, your hands go inside here. No, sorry. You press the button again, and it opens up. And as you guys can see, when I open the door up, we have some unique uh, running boards here um, that comes out. So when you open the door, it actually retracts out and gives you that um, level to go inside, that step to go inside. But there's another feature that comes with this particular um, running board. There's a button inside, and I'll show you guys when we go inside where that button is located. But if you hold that button or press that button down, I'm going to try to get out of the way. All right, so that locks the running board. You press it again, and actually extends the running board to the, the bed of the truck. So that just gives you more leeway to, to um, access your, your bed with this running board. So um, that extension is, will work a lot with a lot of people that you know, try to get into the bed or try to, you know, get something in, inside the bed. So it's just an amazing um, um, <laughs> yeah, an amazing invention, sorry. That's what I wanted to say. So I'm gonna <laughs> unlock that. And if you don't press that button, it will actually stay open. So remember to always uh, press that switch and then it will, rec um, it will retract. And when you close the door, it's gonna close itself in let's take a look at the back seat back seat we got tons of um, leg room we got storage underneath the seats if we just pan all the way in the center the back seats are also heated so you got heated back seats and of course you got USB plugins and of course a 12 volt plug in here as well and as you guys can see there, um, it's a two-tone interior. 
So you do have that brown and black combination here. And one, one nice thing I like about this too is the extra storage compartments in the seat. So as you guys can see here, I opened that back here and there's actually a storage in here. It's on both sides. I'll show you on the other side in a little bit. Down here, you got some cup holders and armrests. Look at the amount of headroom in the roof here. You can see the cut. That just provides you a ton of headroom. Let me just sit down inside and show you guys. So if, all, if you're a tall person, you see how high this goes in. So it's an amazing design. So it's not, you know, flat here and your head is actually touching. You know, it gives you enough headroom in the back seat as well. It is a gas truck, so you have a gas tank located right here. So it's a 6.2 liter gas um, engine, capless. 22 is also in the back. You got a soft top turnout cover. You got the soft release tailgate. All Rhino line inside straight from the factory. As you guys can see that uh, High Country logo in the bed of the truck. There's tons of lighting inside that truck as well. Just let me turn that on. Yep, I got it. <laughs> All right, so you got tons of lighting inside here, and of course, now right now it's a little bright outside, so you wouldn't see how bright this will be at night. But we got two lights inside here, and of course, that switch actually turns on that bed light as well. So two LEDs on top and two LEDs at the bottom just gives you that direct um, brightness inside here. Inside that cab, we also have a 110, 120 uh, volts. 400 watts hookup in here. So you got to switch in here, 400 watts. And this still gets it so light. Look at that. It closes all by itself. That's amazing. To be honest, I didn't even know that happened until now. So I learned something while I'm teaching you something. So tailgate goes down by itself and if you just press that button again it closes by itself too awesome um, when the tailgate is closed you have a little light underneath here of course gives you light on the ground you got your backup camera and of course this one does come with a tow package four pin and seven pin hookup you got your bumper pull right here Towing capacity on this is about 12,200 pounds ish. So, this truck could actually tow, you know, something pretty, pretty heavy. So, about 12,000 pounds, I would say. Um, we have front and rear sensors, two steps um, on either side here to enter the bed, and of course, dual exhaust system. And of course, we got those running boards here also. And of course, uh, this one actually retracts as well. So you have both sides that can retract to the back of the cab. So working in and out of that bed will be easy. Front seats. So the driver's seat has memory in it. Um, the passenger seat doesn't, but it is electric. So you could actually adjust very easily. Remove all the lumbar system in there adjust the backrest and lower and raise the seats as well all weather tech mats straight from chevy so you got that chevy brand weather tech mats right here um, and you know exactly what that does for you keeps the flooring pretty clean and everything stays on that mat pull it out clean it up wash it make it dry put it back inside makes life very easy for you We got a full Bose system on this uh, unit as well. So the Bose sound system on this unit, as you guys could see here, quality sound. I wish I could play some music for you guys, but 
uh, I can't <laughs> but it's just amazing um, you got the glove box a little box up here as well let's take a quick look inside got a ton of features to go go over but we kind of go over every single feature with you today but I'm just going to show you a few things inside that would I would like you guys to know like I said the driver does have memory seats so he has two two options for memory seats here one and two so if your wife is driving she could have her own setting husband is driving same setting as well so um, you could have two different driver and two different settings on here on this side of the steering wheel you have all your four-wheel drive um, buttons here so you could actually go into all-wheel drive or two-wheel drive four high and four low there is a setting on here this wheel would actually change the different settings um, you could drive with so I don't know if we could uh, pan on the uh, on the dash right here so right now we in tow mode if I uh, turn to the right or go to sports mode turn again off-road and we have tow or haul go back to sports tow sports off-road so you have four different set drive settings here um, which is pretty amazing all digital dash up here shows you your oil temperature um, your heat um, your gas and of course your battery it also have a setting here for your speed so um, you could actually see how fast you're going and of course you could actually see the uh, the speed um, on the road so for navigation if you're on a street that's only 35 it would actually show you 35 here so you could actually compare how fast you go into the speed limit on that street you on on that freeway or highway so you have one option here and one option right above here as well so it's kind of cool to actually see you know know your speed limit um, when you're driving and of course see how fast you are going so you can compare that you know make sure you don't get a ticket on the steering wheel um, we got a ton of safety features on this vehicle um, blind spot monitor um, collision assist um, uh, which one lane departure warning um, it has the parking sensors it has the auto shot off so this vehicle is fully equipped with a ton of safety features um, on the steering wheel here we have our cruise control we got a heated steering wheel button here and of course our collision assist um, so we could we could uh, figure out how far we want to you know to adjust the gaps between you and the other vehicle um, over here you have your navigation here to actually toggle through the different options here on your dash your settings and everything and of course you have your answer and uh, turn off uh, if you're on a call and stuff like that behind the steering wheel just like uh, the uh, the Dodgers have now and a few new vehicles have now you have the uh, volume control behind the steering wheel on the right and on the left you have you know change your stations or media and stuff like that right behind here so this vehicle is fully equipped with pretty much everything on there um, just to go over that um, the screen here quickly we have the radio system here with satellite radio FM AM radio um, Bluetooth technology so you have all your options here for your different sources here um, when you go out of that you could go into home you could see your phone your navigation this one does come equipped with navigation so you don't have to plug in your phone or anything like that if you don't want to use your, your your data a lot of data now comes unlimited so it doesn't matter um, Wi-Fi hotspot you could add to that it has Apple CarPlay it has Android Play it it has a marketplace as well too but uh, I think you have to have on star service to actually um, play around with that but just pressing the the marketplace on this right now shows you a bunch of different <laughs> places you could order stuff you know <laughs> you know find out where the, the nearest Domino's is and go to Yelp and all that different stuff but it's something you got to set up um, when it comes to your climate control you have your all your settings up here you could do it you know um, via the touch screen or you could do it down here um, just manually down here you have heated heated seats for back and bottom or you could just have the back only and of course you got cool seats with this truck so you got AC seats and heated seats um, this is your lane departure one and you could turn on or off 
um, your parking sensors you could turn on and off this is an auto shot off you could actually open the tailgate with this and of course you could actually close the tailgate with this so you know if somebody want to take something out of the back you could actually open and close it just by a push of a button hazard uh, traction control this is a switch here to turn all your 110 um, plugins on so right now it is off so if you turn that on with the green light all those are powered up now so the one in the in the the back of the cab and the one down here you could actually plug in your phone or any small devices with less than 400 watts on here this is the this is the uh, running board switch I was telling you guys about um, this actually locks it in place if you just want to lock that in um, if you press it again it will actually send it all the way um, to the back of the, the bed so uh, that switch that's the switch I was pressing every time I was outside showing you guys that electrical trailer brake um, USB ports another one um, another 12 volt in here this has come equipped with a wireless charging port, storage here, cup holders, a nice little hand rest here with a big compartment here to put <laughs> your necessary stuff. Comes with a nice bright light in here as well. So at nighttime, when you open this up, you could see everything inside there. I tried it at night and it's just amazing how bright it is. Of course, you got your USB and auxiliary um, plug here. That SD card is for your navigation. So when you decide to upgrade your navigation, all you have to do is pull the old um, SD card out and put the new one in. It's very simple, um, but that's where your navigation is located. This one does come with a sunroof. There's so many features on this truck. Uh, does come with a sunroof. Does come with your garage controls. It has a rare, um, a reg um, window in the back. This is the button to open and close that. It does have that OnStar capability, so you can register with uh, OnStar, and you, know, you could track your vehicle. You could find out maintenance records. Uh, you could get emergency and all that good stuff. So it's just an amazing truck. Like I said, this truck only has 11,000 miles on it. As of today, 11,081 miles. So tons and tons and tons of life on this vehicle. Like I said, this vehicle could tow you know, about 12,000 pounds. And it's just amazing you know, what those vehicles could do nowadays. So again, this is our 2019 Chevy Silverado 1500 um, High Country with the 6.2 liter gas engine and with a 10 speed automatic transmission it's fresh on our lot i know we don't have pictures online right now so that's why i'm trying to yeah i'm sending you that video um, through social media right now so if you guys want to come in and test just dri um, test drive this truck i want to know the price of this truck please give me a call um, my name is marlon bledman at 303-684 three four one two or you could call me or text on my cell at six six one seven five five four three four four or you could email me at marlon.bledman at transwest.com if you guys want any more information in the meantime guys like i said if you want more information on this truck give me a call we could go over certain things that you didn't understand or i missed um, we could go over that and of course you know we could talk price we could we could set an appointment uh, it's very easy we do financing here um, as you know this truck has low mileage so it has tons of warranty left on it i could give you a breakdown of how much warranty is left i could provide you with a carfax um, report so we can make it happen, guys. So thank you for tuning in today. Uh, stay warm. I'll see you guys back here next week for some amazing videos. We got some new inventory coming in. We have some old ones we could go over with you again. Um, so feel free, reach out to us. And thank you guys for tuning in. Again, Marlon Bledman signing out.